Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, we have this data here. The first thing I'm going to do is um, copy my raw data and put it on. I'll put it down below. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to change my raw data, but I need all these letters to be numbers. So the correct answer here is D. Um, if logical test this. Um, equals D. One for true, zero for false. So it gives me a one right there. Because the formula is if B2 equals D, give it a one. And so this formula is going to go down to all of these cells. And so pay attention to line 50. Watch. The person gave it a C. So that's going to be a zero. See, it's a zero. So now I've got my um, data um, changed from raw answers to numerical answers. So the next thing I want you to do is insert a header with the question numbers and freeze this header so it doesn't scroll. Ah, here it is. So I'm gonna freeze the top row right there. Okay, so now you can see that that is frozen. Next is um, compute the percent grade for each student. So I've got student A here and their percent grade. So let's do a sum of these things. That's their sum. And so their percent will be equal to the sum divided by the possible total number of points. One, two, four, five points total. So their percent is 0.8 here. Let's drag that down so it fills in everybody because I didn't do this. So that's got to get dragged down. Okay, so here's the percentage and I can actually highlight that in up here to home and click on that percent number and it will give me a percent, 80%. Okay, next task I want you to do is compute the mean and standard deviation for the entire class. So the mean score for the entire class is going to be the average of all of these things. And you don't do a standard deviation on the percentage, you do it on the, the raw score. So the average score is nine is 2.92. And the standard deviation, S T D E B this is 1.5. So the mean is 2.92, and most of the responses are within. 1.15 below the mean and 1.15 above the mean. So that's the standard deviation. Okay, next job is to sort my students by their grade from high to low. I'm going to take everything that's here and copy it. And I'm going to go to another tab. And I'm going to paste it here. But you have to say paste special as values or else it pastes the formulas. And since we don't have the raw data above this, the formulas aren't gonna work very well. I'm gonna take this column and copy it, and I'm gonna paste it before, oh, it replaced it, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna insert it. Insert copied cells. Okay, so now my first column 
is the total score for each student. So now when I go to sort, let's see what happens. Top, medium, bottom. Okay, now I have to compute the item difficulty. Okay, how difficult was each item? This first item right here, it's like most everybody got it right. The way I'm going to find out item difficulty is I'm going to sum up everything in the column. And now I'm going to put the total number of points that would be possible, which is 25, because there were 25 students. And if everyone got it right, it would be 25 points. But everyone didn't get it right. 23 of the 25 got it right. So the item difficulty is going to be equal to this number divided by this number. It's the percentage of people who got it right, 92. So item difficulty is 0.92. So I can drag this over like this. This doesn't really exist. Um, so 20 out of 25. So this should also be 25. This should be 25. This should be 25, should be 25. Okay, so the item difficulty goes from 0.92 all the way to 0.36. So a 0.92 means it's easy, and a 0.36 means it's hard. Less than half the people got it right. That's item difficulty. Item discrimination. Before I show you how to do item discrimination, let's do item difficulty for the top third. Okay, item difficulty for the top third. Um, so that would be the sum of this top third. divided by eight possible points. The item difficulty for the lower third would be equal to the sum of the lower one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people divided by eight. Okay, so the top third found the question really easy. All of them got it right, but the lower third, only 87% of the students got it right. So item discrimination. is the difference between those two. So that equals this minus this. Let's say everybody in the top third got it right and everyone in the bottom third got it right. The item discrimination will be zero. That means the item does not discriminate between the top third and the bottom third. Here, there's a slight discrimination, a slight difference between the top third and the lower third. So if I take these three formula and I drag them over here, you can see that the top third got all of the second question right, but the lower third, just a little over half of them got it right. So there's a higher item discrimination. Now if I drag over this one, huge item discrimination. I drag it over to this one. 
less people in the top third got it right. Still very few got it right in the bottom third. And it still has an item discrimination of 0.5. And for the last one, it still has an item discrimination of about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. You're looking for an item discrimination of around 0.4. So this actually tells you it's a pretty decent question. Okay, that's how you calculate item discrimination. So I made a video to show you how to do this. This is a lot. Um, this is a lot. 